Hey everyone, and welcome to This Week in News Tech, the podcast where we discuss the latest innovations in digital journalism. I'm your host, Matt Larson, and today we're going to be discussing using audio to promote greater audience engagement. This is our top story today from the Reynolds Journalism Institute, uh, University of Missouri. They've just got some great tips in here that I really liked on how to use audio to capture content from your audience, record interviews. One nice example that I actually remember hearing on the radio is from On Point, where they actively encourage participation via email. So they are asking users to call in and uh, they give them some tips on how to get a good recording so that they can eventually use that on the air. Hosting audio only events was another tip that they had in this article. And I wanted to get our listeners feedback on this. So in the comments, if you're watching the video, if you're on our website, wherever you are, chime in as a publisher, can you see yourself using this? You know, obviously we all have the tools available to us today with Zoom, uh, but I'm just curious if there'd be any uh, interest in using something that's more integrated into a website or app format. So anyone uh, that is a publisher that would be or is hosting audio only events, uh, please let me know. I'd be interested in hearing about that. Second story from today from Kevin Slimp, the news guru. He has announced a new webinar series continuing into the fall in partnership with OurHometown.com. Our Hometown provides website services for newspapers, building on a WordPress based platform that integrates with native apps, generates audio content, does a lot of things for newspapers. And on top of that, the company offers free training through Kevin's webinars. So any customer of our hometown can attend this series for free. Just come to ourhometown.com, go to the blog and register by clicking here. Uh, we've got some exciting sessions coming up. Kevin always has new names. He, he manages to always come up with new topics and completely different trainings, all just you know covering InDesign products. So he's covering Photoshop, InDesign, and Illustrator from all different angles. And I'm really excited to see this one on creating and exporting tags in InDesign files so we can possibly improve our reverse publishing workflows. Okay, and last but not least, we've got an industry interview with Payson Gaddis of the Florida Weekly. Also, Jim Dickerson was on the call, and we heard about some really interesting things they're doing down in Florida. The, the Florida Weekly is a group of free newspapers throughout Florida, very successful. They're always on the cutting edge, and now they are leading us uh, in the mobile revolution with mobile touchless displays for content distribution. Check out this video interview with Payson Gaddis, the publisher of Florida Weekly. The Florida Weekly touchless displays are a, a Wi-Fi enabled vertical display that we install in a, a lobby, one of our distribution outlets. Okay. And it will be the front page edition of, of that particular market that we're serving. And then it'll essentially be a slideshow of articles with a teaser headline, if you will. Okay. And then within that, there'll be a QR code that you can actually just go up and scan with your phone. Thanks for watching this episode of This Week in News Tech. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram for the latest on innovations in digital journalism.